Hi, Nathan here at Nightstep Studio. So today we are going to look at 10 most common roof types here in Archicad. Coming in at number one is the gable roof. And here is how to construct it. Go to the roof tool, double click on that and you should get this settings panel. So under geometry and positioning, you can change the angle with which it sits. For my case, I'm gonna use 30. Here you can adjust how high the roof sits onto the walls. Under the multi-plane geometry, you can also adjust the offset of each of these eaves. And I've seen them much smaller in practice, so I will use 600 for that. And that will be it for now. We say OK. And to begin to place, make sure that you have this geometry, multi-plane geometry selected. And also choose this second option in order to be able to have that kind of gable construction. So click the first point and diagonally click on the last point and there you have it. So this is the roof type, but I have also seen that the eaves on either side of this gable are much smaller. So I'll make this about half the size and the lower one as well. So that's more like it. So now if we mark you and go into 3d to see what's happened here by f5 or show mark you in 3d there we are this is what we do have and so we want to select all these walls and be sure to suspend group such that you can stretch these wall heights by clicking on this icon on the pet palette and be sure to choose a height which is just above the roof click on trim elements to roof or shell and double click onto the roof and there you have it your roof is there and if for some reason you cannot see this trim elements to roof icon you might need to go to options work environment and in apply profile i believe it's architectural profile 25. once you click on that you should be able to have this standard tuba which has these icons all right the next type of roof is the hip roof and for that we will keep the same settings of the previous roof but we will just change it to this one right here so when we click the first point and click the point diagonally to this other plane and mark you to go into 3d pressing the f5 there we are we have ourselves the hip roof coming in at number three is the dutch roof so for the Dutch roof, we are going to use the same roof that we did use before, but we need to go to the settings. So under multi-plane geometry, you want to add another segment. And that segment is also going to be the same angle as the second segment. So let's make this, I believe, about one meter. Well, you can always adjust this later if it doesn't work. And that's all we have to do for now and we say okay and we come and place this roof as we did before so now when we select this roof you can see we have some lines here to work with so in order to create the dutch roof all we have to do is click on the top node here and move that node by stretching it horizontally to be 90 degrees right here and stretch this one out to right there and there we are when we mark you and go into 3d by pressing a five there we are we have ourselves a dutch roof coming in at number four the mansard roof so for the mansard roof we will use the same setting as we did before but this time we will need a higher angle for this first roof roof one so if we make that 45 and the rest is going to be 30 degrees so we say okay and now you can space click to place the roof or as we did before click the first node and the final one now when we mark you and f5 to go into 3d we click on to fit to window and there we are we have ourselves the mansard roof coming in at number five is the flat roof so for the flat roof we'll use just a slab why not so we need to go to the first floor or the roof plan and in order to see what's happening below we might need to click on show trace reference and we have that shown right here and click onto the 
slab we can double click and change to the generic roof or shell which resembles the roof materials that we did use before and let's say okay come here and place our roof and i believe it needs to be much bigger to extend outward so now when we mark you and press f5 to go into 3d and fit to window there we are we have ourselves a flat roof number six is the shed roof so for the shed roof we are going to just use the usual roof but we must we will use the single plane kind of construction and in the settings we might as well need to reduce the angle since this is a single plane it needs to be a smaller angle so i'll use something like 10 degrees for that we say okay and now we begin to place so how it is placed is that we need to identify the line by creating a line where the roof is going to sit and identifying where the roof is going to face so in my case it's going to face right there and i can go ahead and draw a roof across the entire thing we have a notice here that the roof is going to be formed on another story we can say continue and when we go to the first floor there it is and this is where we can come in and expand the roof to add some a little bit of offset i think i'm going to, to take around 300. so now when we mark you this entire thing and we go to 3d fit to window we have something going on here like we did before select the wall and i'm going to uncheck pass suspend group such that all the walls are selected and suspend groups again such that i am able to stretch the walls using that stretch height in the pet palette and when i click above this roof it is the walls go through the roof and i can use the trim element to roof shell in order to tame these walls to be under that roof and there we are coming in at number seven is the butterfly roof so for the butterfly roof we could use what we already had here so alt click to pick some of these parameters and choose this kind of geometry and the this one as well and let's go into the settings and it's impossible to put in a negative values for example because a butterfly roof will be a negative gradient if i try to put in negative 10 it's not going to work so let's just put in 10 and we shall flip it later leaving everything the way it is we will just click OK and begin to place in that very roof. So now we have a roof which resembles the one we had before. And like we did before, you can reduce the eaves on these two opposite sides, or you can leave it the way it is depending on you as the designer. With that roof selected, I will right click and split into single planes. So split anyway, and it will be split let's actually do that in 3d so this is what we have when we select these two roofs individually and go to settings and now put in the negative 10 degrees it will accept that and how cool is that so selecting these two walls which are penetrating through and clicking onto the trim elements to roof shell double click onto the roof there we are we have ourselves a nice butterfly roof Coming in at number eight is the Gambrel roof. So for that, we'll need something like the Mansard because it highly resembles this. So Alt click to pick the parameters of that. So when we go to settings into the multi-plane geometry, we have 45 degrees and 30 degrees. Pretty cool. And I will say okay and make sure that in here, this construction method is used. Just that now when we space click or do the rest of the things that we did it actually did not work so let's try that again oh, this one works but when we change it to this not sure oh it worked there we are so now let's my cue go f5 into this 
uh, drawing, we have ourselves this gambrel thing. So select the roof, remove suspension to have all of them selected and suspend groups again, such that we can be able to move these walls, stretch them above the roof and with them selected, click on to trim to roof to shell or you can select this roof and right click and say connect trim roofs to shell and say enter and it's done coming in at number nine is the doma roof so for the doma roof we might need uh, a few of the things to happen up here in this floor plan and i think we may need all of this in one side So we need a gable roof like we did before we pick the gable roof, the typical gable roof by alt clicking or using this parameter here. Did you know that we can use a pickup parameter and click onto the roof, which we have used before and draw on top of that. So now it's done. And the same kind of roof is what we need for the things which are up top here. So using that kind of roof, we can overlay it on top of these things, on these genius walls that we have here. Although they look way too huge, we might need to step them back like we did before for these two kinds of things. So let's see what's happening in 3D. Q and see our mess here in 3D. Huh, way too high. So select these two roofs, bring them down obviously such that they just barely intersect the top part. So Be sure to use shift to keep it in the Y axis, in the Z axis. And with them selected, in order to position them well, I need to push them a little bit in front to have that edge. Since it's not penetrating, we might need to push them inward from this side. This one as well, push it inside. Selecting these walls, Suspend group, take all of them above this roof with the trim elements to roof shell, double click to have them trimmed. Select this set as well, make sure to unsuspend groups, click trim elements to roof shell, double click onto the roof, they have been trimmed. This final one set as well, select trim elements to roof shell, double click and they are trimmed. How cool is that? So we have ourselves the Doma roof. That's the idea. You can create it better than I could. And the final type of roof that we look at today is the M-shaped roof. Well, for that, we're going to need this kind of roof, which is the Gambrel. We are going to need something like the Gambrel roof, which has these things, but I am going to need it to be the same angle all through. So I'll make it 30 and 30, like right there. So I'm going to draw this roof. And there we are. So what we will do is split this roof into different planes. So right click and split into single plane roofs, such that we are able to split anyway so some of the roofs are going to be sent to the topmost floor which is fine say okay and you can see some of these roofs have been sent here so we need these roofs which were sent in this position it's suspend group such that we can be able to select those two and give them a negative gradient which is going to be the negative of the 30 that we chose so negative 30 so these are going to be y-shaped so let's look at them and edit them further in 3D. So here in 3D, 
fit to window and this is what we have done so far and we will move this downward and i feel it should touch somewhere here and it's actually easy to edit select this roof control click onto this one so that you are able to trim it there so select this other roof control click on this one and there we have this surface cleaned out so here is what we did you select this roof which is under here control click onto the edge be sure to click on the edge of this one control click on the edge it's sent inward and again select this one control click onto this one to have it intersecting right there so now we have ourselves this m shape and to clean up like we did before select the roofs and suspend groups such that all of them are selected suspend group so that we can be able to adjust the heights just over the roof and then using the trim elements to roof shell double click onto the roof and there we have it so there we have it the 10 most common roof types here in akikad hope you did enjoy give us a like or subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time